I just finished my yoga session at home and I'm starving already. <laughs> I'm usually always hungry when I'm waking up in the morning. So I was already eating a banana before I started with the yoga exercises. And now it's time for the real breakfast. So I prefer smoothies actually in the morning um, because it gives me this extra energy boost and yeah it's it's very efficient because i can feel it during the whole day so today i decided to go for a strawberry smoothie so first i'm using a plant-based milk so i'm using this time uh, rice milk but most of the time i like to use um actually almond milk and lately I I tried uh, what's it called um, brown rice milk so it's like whole grain rice milk and there was nothing really added but it was so sweet I was like wow <laughs> what a surprise so then I'm using two bananas because the more bananas you use, the bigger the texture will be at the end. I like it more creamy. So I'm usually using two. And then using an apple. I love apples. You can eat them to everything. It's such a nice fruit. And I got really good ones. This one is a, a good one from the supermarket. And then for in between, like just eating it plain. I like to eat the apples which I got, get from my family members because I have a, a yard with apple tree and it's really different if you use to those apples in general if you get the fruits from a yard that you know it's such a huge difference Another good thing is it doesn't take too long to make a smoothie. You just have to cut the fruits, put them in a blender and then just blend it and then fill it in a bowl and if you want you can add some things in addition or you just eat it the way you planted it. I usually like to add some toppings. I also like to prepare smoothies where I have a combination of fruits and vegetables because it's not that sweet if you add some vegetables usually but I have to refill my storage and on the other side I'm not at home right now so I'm in an Airbnb and I'm leaving soon so would make sense <laughs> to buy too much but um, I like to add usually spinach leaves like I mentioned and cucumber I also like to add like something like spirulina, chlorella, barley grass powder. Um, or you can also use if you if you if you want to protein powder. I usually don't really like it, 
I don't use protein powder anymore because it's in my case <laughs> very hard to find a tasty and healthy plant-based powder so that's okay so but sometimes I, I like to use for example groundnut almonds or oats but this time I will use it as an egg <laughs> so the mix is ready to plant and um, yeah <laughs> so see it's blended already so looks so nice well I... I like to prepare my food nicely I like the plating part actually even though it takes longer until you can finally eat it but in my opinion it's worth it so I have some blueberries left so I will use them too And then some grounded almonds. using some hemp seeds I love hemp seeds I'm using them almost everywhere smoothies oatmeal salads curry yeah I love them so what else I have some gojis. Let's put some gojis. some fried cherries see it takes time and I'm slow I'm doing it very carefully when I'm doing it at home 
and Norma wants to have breakfast with me. It takes a lot of patience for her to wait until she can finally eat something with me. Uh, but she prefers usually bread with butter and jam or ham and cheese. So. Okay, and then I think that's it. Huh? Okay, that's something. In addition, hot quinoa. Also great. My smoothie is ready. Let's see, I'm showing you. See? I just have to take some pictures of it. And you will see the post then on my Insta profile. So I hope you have also a delicious breakfast. I will have it. And see you soon. Bye.